All right, here is our first piece from the Indigenous Americas, and this is the Mesa Verde Cliff Dwellings. And no, it's not up in Costa Mesa. Uh, this is located in, actually it's called Montezuma County, Colorado, and it is considered Ancestral Pueblo, or also known as Anasazi, A-N-A-S-A-Z-I. And it dates from 450 to about 1300 CE, and it, the, it is predominantly made of sandstone. It is um, just some background. In North America, there may have been some Mesoamerican influence, but the uh, unique climactic differences of uh, where this is in Colorado made the hot, the summers very hot and the winters very cold. And so their culture is going to be defined by the weather, whereas the temperature and the weather was much different in Mesoamerica. So the Anasazi Native Americans built villages on mesas, flat-topped elevations with cliff-like sides, or along the walls of canyons in order to take advantage of the shelter that came with natural overhangs. So the villages took the form of a large multi-roomed apartment block, sometimes several stories high, and they had underground circular chambers. Those were known as kivas, K-I-V-A-S. And these were used as communal rooms and they were used for social and religious gatherings. Uh, this structure, the, the Mesa Verde Cliff, has over 200 rooms um, that housed over 400 people and 23 kivas, which can be recognized by the circular shape. The kivas are down over in this area here. Anything that's a circular shape is a kiva. Um, and then many uh, parts were accessible by removable ladders. Buildings range from one to four stories and some hit the natural stone quote unquote ceiling. It was built using stone and mud mortar along with wooden beams and it was adapted to the natural cleft in the cliff's face. Families lived in architectural units organized around the kivas, and they de that developed from the pit house, which would have also been circular subterranean room that was often used for storage space and a living area. Kivas here developed to serve as communal spaces for the performance and viewing of ritual dances. They were mostly only for men, and women were only allowed on certain occasions. Each kiva was the province of a social unit, and each village always had several kivas. A kiva typically had a wood-beamed roof held up by six engaged support columns made of masonry above a shelf-like banquet. If you visit this cliff palace, you will see the kivas without their roofs, which is what is this picture is of. And in the past, though, it would have been covered, and the space around them would have functioned kind of as a small plaza. Their other typical features of a kiva include a fire pit or a hearth, a ventilation shaft. It also included a deflector or a low wall to prevent air drawn from the ventilation shaft reaching the fire directly. And it also would have what's called a sipapu, S-I-P-A-P-U, which was a small hole in the floor that was ceremonial in its purpose. The kivas continued to be used for ceremonies even today by the Puebloan peoples, though not those within Mesa Verde National Park. In the past, these circular spaces were both ceremonial and residential. The rooms connected and fanned out around the plazas that created the housing units. The builders of these structures plastered and painted murals, although what remains today is, is pretty fragmented. So we don't really know what the murals look like, but what's left of it display mostly geometric designs or represented animals and plants. The geometric shapes were thought to portray the landscape. So there's a, a lot of question as to why this was built here. Uh, many have said it's obviously a place that would protect from the elements, provides shade in the hot winters and then I'm sorry, hot summers, and protection from the snow in the winter. But ultimately, we're only left with educated guesses. The exact reasons for building cliff dwellings really remain unknown to us. But it was abandoned, and, and that's likely because of the fact that migration from this area 
occurred either due to drought, lack of resources, violence, or some combination of these. So this is um, a national park in, in Colorado. So if you get to Colorado, you could go see these really cool, um, you know, this architectural feature that's built into the cliff. Because if you look up here, you could see kind of where they have the, um, this, where people could stand and look over. And then below is where this whole area would have been inhabited. So, okay.